You won't believe which cities are at risk of vanishing. By the year 2100, rising seas, stronger storms, and worsening climate impacts could wipe entire coastal cities off the map. We're talking about some of the world's largest economic hubs, cultural icons, and tropical paradises, all facing a future underwater. From Asia to Africa, from the United States to Europe, no region is immune. So, which cities are living on borrowed time? Here are seven coastal cities that might disappear by 2100. Number 1. Jakarta, Indonesia, the sinking megacity. Jakarta isn't just at risk, it's already sinking. The Indonesian capital is built on swampy, unstable ground and decades of unregulated groundwater extraction have caused the city to collapse into itself. Some northern districts have sunk over 4 meters in the last two decades alone. With a population of over 30 million in the metro area and frequent monsoon floods, the threat is very real. The government has begun relocating the capital to Nusantra, on the island of Borneo, but Jakarta still remains Indonesia's economic and population center. Experts warn that by 2050, large parts of Jakarta will be permanently underwater if drastic measures aren't taken. Number 2. Miami, USA, drowning in sunshine. Miami may be known for its beaches and nightlife, but it's also a ground zero for sea level rise. The city is just one meter, three feet, above sea level in many neighborhoods, and even on sunny days, high tides are flooding streets, this phenomenon is called sunny day flooding. By 2100, sea levels in South Florida are projected to rise by two to three feet, which would put vast areas of Miami and its surrounding counties underwater. Billions of dollars are being poured into pumps, seawalls, and elevated infrastructure, but some scientists believe Miami is fighting a losing battle. The real estate market is already reacting, with higher ground becoming premium property. Number 3. Bangkok, Thailand the slowly drowning capital. Bangkok is sinking at a rate of 2 to 3 centimeters per year, and rising seas from the Gulf of Thailand are closing in. The city is a flat, low-lying sprawl with no natural drainage, making it extremely vulnerable to flooding during rainy seasons. With over 11 million people in the metro area, it's one of Southeast Asia's most important economic engine and most threatened. Massive floodgates, dikes, and water diversion systems are in place, but the pace of development often outstrips the infrastructure. If nothing changes, 40% of the city could be submerged every year by the end of the century. Number 4. Venice, Italy, the sinking treasure. Venice has battled rising waters for centuries, but climate change has dramatically increased the stakes. In 2019, the city experienced its worst flooding in 50 years, with more than 80% of Venice underwater. While the massive Mose flood barrier is now operational, it's only a temporary solution to a much bigger problem. Sea levels in the Mediterranean are rising, and Venice continues to sink due to both natural and human causes. Experts warn that without major intervention, the city could become uninhabitable by 2100. A UNESCO World Heritage Site disappearing would be a global cultural tragedy. Number 5. Lagos, Nigeria, Africa's coastal titan under threat. Lagos is the beating heart of Nigeria's economy and home to over 24 million people, but much of it lies just above sea level. Heavy rainfall, poor drainage, and unregulated construction have made flooding an annual crisis. Climate change is expected to worsen these problems with stronger storms and higher tides. Already, informal settlements like Makako, built on stilts over water, are vulnerable to total collapse. Despite efforts like the construction of the Eco-Atlantic Mega Project, critics argue that not enough is being done to protect the wider population. If the current trajectory continues, millions could be displaced in the coming decades. Number 6. New Orleans, USA, a city below sea level. New Orleans sits 1.8 meters, 6 feet, below sea level in many areas, and it has long relied on levees and pumps to stay dry. But as Hurricane Katrina tragically showed in 2000, 2005, those defenses can fail catastrophically. Since then, over $15 billion has been spent on flood protection systems, but sea level rise and stronger hurricanes threaten to overwhelm them once again. Subsidence, erosion of coastal wetlands, and rising gulf waters make this city one of America's most endangered. By 2100, large parts of New Orleans could be underwater or uninhabitable during storm surges, especially if emissions continue at current rates. Number 7. Mail. Maldives, the vanishing nation. Unlike other entries on this list, Mail is not just a city, it's the capital of a country that could entirely disappear. The Maldives consists of over 1,000 coral islands and has an average elevation of just 1.5 meters above sea level. That makes it the lowest lying country in the world. Even a modest sea level rise of 1 meter would render most of the country unlivable. The Maldivian government has explored building floating cities and even relocating the population to other nations. If drastic global action isn't taken soon, the Maldives may become the first country fully erased by climate change. These seven cities are more than places, they're homes, 
cultures, economies, and futures. Their struggles represent the broader challenge humanity faces in an age of rising seas and changing climates. But this isn't just a warning, it's a call to action. We still have time to innovate, adapt, and protect what matters most. Which of these cities do you think has the best chance of surviving? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more videos about our rapidly changing world.